Hello, thank you guys so much for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. This is a big day for my Celial Gallery. This is the day of the burn. It's the day that we've all been waiting for. The whole point of my Celial uh, was to collect, you know, to collect these artworks, these prints, or, you know, the gold tiers, or the silver tiers, and the black tiers, uh, to then burn all seven of them for an eighth artwork in return. And today that artwork is going to finally be revealed. And you guys are actually going to have the ability to burn your artworks. Uh, but first, I must say um, that, you know, we are not responsible for, you know, any loss of value when you're burning these artworks. You know, we look at these artworks and these NFTs uh, as having no value. You know, this is a project for us. Uh, and we really like the game theory. We like having fun with it. Uh, but when you send these to us, you are acknowledging that, you know, these have no value and that you were okay with burning them for an eighth card that will also have no value in return. But now that we have that out of the way, let's actually jump into it. Let's burn seven Pioneer NFTs for the eighth one. I'm so excited. If you guys could, I, really, I would really appreciate it if you like this video. Comment it down below. Let's get this video out there. You know, I think that this is, uh, it's at least one of my favorite NFT projects. I know that's uh, not very humble to say that, but I didn't do the artwork, so I can appreciate it just as much as you guys did. So if we can get this out there to the wider NFT community, uh, it would be awesome. And we need you to like this comment down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment as well. Also join the community down, down below the discord server for anything, for questions. We'll have a good time. Okay. So now on to the burn and first things first, uh, let's say you don't have any of the pioneers. Well, what you need to do is if you would like, you know, to participate, to burn, you can actually purchase these on a secondary market and a link to how to do that is going to be down below. I would appreciate if you did that on the token market, token.io, they're going to be actually adding selling today. And I'm going to be posting a video on how to buy, sell, and mint on there. If you guys want to check out that video down below, I would really appreciate it. But you do need seven pioneers of the same tier to actually do this burning. So, you know, there's four tiers. There's prints, black, silver, and gold. The golds are animated. Those are my favorite if I could afford them. Uh, and once you collect all seven, you can actually burn them. If you're missing a couple, uh, then you're gonna have to pick them up from the secondary market. So let's talk wallets, right? You know, we're talking about sending seven NFTs. Well, what's really cool, there's a couple wallets that actually let you send multiple NFTs at the same time. One of those wallets is ccwallet.io. I would recommend that you use these with the Trezor. You know, we are not responsible for the loss of any of your NFTs if you make any mistakes. So please be very careful and follow step by step when you do this. So uh, you can also use your Roy and you can use Daedalus. You know, the difference between these wallets is your Roy, you can only send one asset at a time and that's okay. You know, it, but it's going to take you a little bit longer, but you actually are going to be able to write down, you know, your burn ID. Uh, so it's no problem that it does take a little bit longer, but we're going to be using CC wallet in this video today because it's the easiest. So let's get ready to burn. First, you're going to go to burn.mycelialgallery.io and it's actually going to be the first link down below. And then you click start a burn. And once you're in the start a burn, all you have to do is select the burn type and we have unframed black, silver, or gold. So whatever seven frames that you're collecting, you have to make sure that they're of the same tier. So either unframed black, silver, or gold, and then go ahead and select one of those. And we're going to go with black or we'll go with unframed today. And then we're going to get the actual return address from either wallet that we're using. So whether it be CC wallet, your Roy or Daedalus, we're just going to click in the receive tab, we're actually going to click copy and we're going to paste that just right in there. And let's go on to the next step. So once you have that address entered, you can click create session. If you've already had a session before, you can click login here and we're going to get a login in just a second. So we're in this session. So your burn address and your burn ID, all of this information is important. So as it says right here, important, please write down this information here in case it is interrupted for any reasons and you need to return at a later time. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Windows Shift S and we're going to screen cap that. It didn't let, I think it might've hidden it, but uh, I screen capped it and I save that over here. And then we confirm that we've copied the information above and we're going to proceed. Important, once you send your assets to this address, 
On the next page, the only way to retrieve them is by sending additional ADA to the address to cover the transaction fee by clicking cancel. By clicking this, you agree that you are aware and happy to proceed. So you will have to pay ADA uh, if you do want to withdraw, but you will have the ability to withdraw if you don't burn all of them. If you only send a couple and then change your mind, that's no problem. So now we're at the burn page and then send assets, or send assets you would like to the burn address below. All we're gonna have to do here is click copy and look, you can see them all right here. Cardano, Lovelace, Shelly, Basho, Gogan, Voltaire, and Byron. So once we have that address copied, we can go to any of our wallets. You know, your Roy, you're going to send it one at a time. Daedalus, you can send multiple at a time, but we're going to be using CC Wallet today. And then we're going to go to the Send tab. We're going to paste that in there. And then we're going to click Add Token. And then we're going to add all seven. You know, we have Voltaire, we have Shelly. Let me open up the whole token collection here. And this is actually our, our giveaway wallet. This is what we've been giving away to everybody. We purchased them just like everybody else to give away. Okay, so we got Byron on there now. Oh, I don't want to burn that one. That one's a 25. Keep that one. It's a special one. We need Basho on there. We'll burn 1823 on that one. And then who else are we missing? Can't forget about Cardano and another very important feature is you know the cardano that you burn is actually the eighth card that you get so it's very important that you know that i think that let's see if we got them all selected we might be missing old gogan i think we are so we're going to go ahead and select the last gogan that we need so let's make sure we got seven tokens selected insufficient ada damn it we're gonna have to fix that so what do we got here one two three four Five, we're way off. We're gonna add some ADA and get the rest selected. So I have just submitted the transaction and hopefully these will be showing up here any second. And if you're sending them one by one, they'll show up one at a time too. You know, it's checking to make sure, hey, is the transaction gone through? Hey, is the transaction gone through? And uh, usually on the blockchain, the Cardano blockchain anyways, uh, transactions go through about every 20 seconds. So if you're lucky, you know, you send it in the last three seconds and it's a very quick transaction. Uh, otherwise, it'll take about 20 and we can sit here and wait, but very shortly, all of these will show up for us. So I refresh the page and as you can see, they've all showed up now. We can see the Cardano 0340 and remember, you know, Cardano is who will give you the you know, number for the eighth card, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do uh, my first ever burn of Prince. I'm very excited for this. So as you can see, uh, step four, there's the eighth card. First time anyone's seen it, unless you're watching pool.pm in the last hour, but you are about to receive Hoskinson 0340. Very cool, very excited about this. So let's read the disclaimer. By clicking burn, burn below you destroy all seven assets you send in return, you receive one Charles NFT. You understand that this process is irreversible and cannot be undone. You indemnify us of all claims, liabilities, demands, awards, damages, costs, or any other matters that may arise as a result or is alleged to arise as a result of the use of this site. We have no liability for any indirect or consequential loss or damage or any loss of data, profit, revenue, or business, whether direct or indirect in each case, however caused either, it, even if foreseeable, we reserve the right to change anything to do with this site and project at any time. What we say on any of our social media or other platforms does not constitute a formal promise of future features, value, or community. You alone are responsible for burning these assets and accept full responsibility. That sucked. Let's do it. Burn complete. You should see your Charles portrait appear in the return wall in a few minutes. Hell yes. That was awesome. I'm so excited the burn has finally been released. This may not be the last burn. That's all I'll say about that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, like it down below, comment, and share this video far and wide. Let's grow this community. You know, I'm going to be posting a very large video tomorrow that is going to be how to buy and sell NFTs on a new marketplace. It's going to do very well. So I'm doing my part and getting this, uh, getting the word out there about my serial. So I'd appreciate it if you did too. Uh, and the easiest thing is just commenting down below. I'm excited. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. And thank you so much for the support. This project's so cool and it wouldn't be so awesome uh, without all of you guys in the discord and the community and asking questions and I really enjoy it. So thank you guys.